Welcome back to All Real Estate, All the Time with Whitney Nicely, where we teach you the ins and outs of buying real estate in Knoxville. Now, here's Whitney. So I have had a very exciting start to August. Yeah, it sounds like and they got a few more weeks coming up. They're going to be busy. Oh, yeah. Like my real estate, my coaching, speaking, all that has completely taken off. But I mean, in my personal life and in like Whitney Buys Houses life. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, let me just tell you, last week, I almost sold the house that I live in. Oh, really? Yes. I, I was. Well, where are we going to live otherwise? <laughs> well, the thing is, okay, so I, I helped my mom and dad flip this house in 09. And I've lived in there since 09. I love it. Okay, this is the house that they lived in when I was born. I mean, I came from the home, from the hospital, and we were living in this house. Then we moved and all this other stuff. But because my mom is a real estate investor, she always kept the house and rented it out to lots of different people. And she was just a landlord. And I thought everybody just had a couple houses and people sent them money every month. Like, that's just how I grew up. It's just money came in the mailbox for houses that you own. So, of course, when I got to be, you know, 20, 25, I wanted my mailbox money. Yeah, and mailbox money would be nice. <laughs> well, now I get inbox money, which is even easier because I don't have to walk to the mailbox and then uh, go to the bank. Nice. It just, I get an email. And then check my bank account, and it's there. I don't even have to get out of bed and make money now. Oh, technology. Inbox money is better than mailbox money. Better than paycheck money, too. Holy smokes. You're not even kidding. Okay, but I I was at home. I work from home quite a few days a week. I go to the office. I go look at houses. But I, I stay at my house a lot. And I've transformed my dining room into part of an office. And around my dining room table, I pace. Like when I'm in the studio here, I stand up because I have a lot of energy. And if I sit down, I'm going to sleep. So I stand up. I pace. I talk. I walk. I use my hands. All that jazz. So I am pacing around my dining room table. I'm on the phone with somebody doing my normal little thing, talking to them about real estate, blah, blah, blah. And as I turn the corner, I've got this great big, huge stone fireplace in my dining room. And I noticed a rock down on the corner that I hadn't really noticed before, but I just thought, oh, weird rock. And then I walked around, I made my last loop. And as I got close to the rock this time, I kind of bent down, put my hands on my knees, bent down, looked at it real close, and it looked back at me. <laughs> It did. Not a pet rock, I assume. <laughs> it was the worst kind of pet rock. It didn't have shoulders. Oh, it didn't uh -oh. have shoulders. So I squealed like a little girl and climbed up on the dining room uh, chair. And I was on the phone with somebody, so I don't even know how I hung up with them. I, I, I'm sure I I'm didn't sure get, they hung up on you and you started screaming. <laughs> I'm sure I didn't get that sale, but it went something like, oh, my God, I got to let you go. There's a snake in my house. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and I don't remember who it was. I should probably call them back, but... Anyway, I blacked out for a second, called my cousin, and I, he usually doesn't answer. So he answered on the second ring, and he was like, hello. I said, there's a snake in my house. He said, I'll be right there. I mean, there was like no conversation, <laughs> didn't care. He was really close, so he really was there in just a second. But as he came in, I'm standing up on the dining room chair because I'm a little girl, and I took a picture of it coming out of my floor, like my fireplace and the hardwoods, there was a hole, like a gap oh, between, okay. be between the stone fireplace and the hardwood floors. And his little head was coming out of my floor in between the fireplace and the floor. Like he'd come up through the floor trusses. I don't oh, really wow. know how he'd gotten there, but it was awful. How big was the snake? Oh, he was like the size of my arm, for sure. Like What? Really? That long? Oh, oh yeah. for sure. I mean, definitely after a week of me telling the story, he was... <laughs> totally the size of my arm i mean i even told somebody this weekend last weekend after it happened that in <laughs> he had abby my dog <laughs> you know down on all fours or down on her back by the time i found him oh, but yeah, that's yeah. not true either so anyway he was huge in my mind i took a picture of him and I, you saw this on facebook like i put a lot of pictures on facebook and my caption on this one was that my house is for sale because we have an intruder and i don't need to live in it while it's so <laughs> inhabitable so my cousin came, and when he walked in, Abby started barking, so it scared the snake, and he went down on his hole. But I'd taken a picture of him and so I could prove that I wasn't making up the snake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we sat there and waited on him to come back. He wouldn't come back. So my cousin left, and I called Dad to catch him up. Well, I was going to leave. Like, this house is not fit to be lived in today. Just <laughs> evacuate. The house is for sale. Take my stuff. I don't want it. So I even told Dad at lunch that this was a uh, this was not a negotiation with the snake. This was just a hostage situation. We're going to give him whatever he wants. Over. Yes, <laughs> just give him whatever he wants. We're leaving. <laughs> 
So I called dad, and as I'm talking to him, filling him in on what's going on, I walked back in the dining room to get my purse. And as I did, that sucker was like four inches out of the floor. So I started squealing again with dad on the phone. And instead, you know, my cousin was calm, cool, and collected. You know, I'll be right there. My dad's like, what color is it? How big is his head? And I was like, dad, it doesn't matter. He's coming in. We've got an intruder. have a rattler. Exactly. I was like, I can't see any of that. So dad comes over and he's trying to find him and all this stuff. I've got dad and my cousin back over. And in the middle of all of this, a salesman from ADT calls, like the sell, the security <laughs> people. Nice. So this is my conversation with ADT. He calls and he's like, yes, ma'am, I want to talk to you about the crime in your area. And we're putting a lot of security systems in and blah, blah, blah. And I said, does it include snakes? And he was like, I'm sorry, ma'am. I said, does, the, does your coverage include intrusions by snakes? And he said, no, ma'am, I don't think anything covers snakes. And I said, well, I have an intruder today. He's been here for two hours and my husband is at work and I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> so if you don't include snakes, then I'm not interested in your product. Like, I'm not worried. I'll leave the door unlocked half the time anyway. So I'm not worried about somebody coming in. There's nothing here to steal. What I'm worried about is the snake. <laughs> and he, at this point, he couldn't, he couldn't decide if I was crazy or giving him a line or he, yeah, just, yeah. he couldn't decide. So he, he tried the intrusion because I'd said something about an intruder. He said, well, it's not just intruders, ma'am. That could, <laughs> he's, still, you know, it's, he's still selling he's at try, this point? He's still selling. He is a good, good man. He said, it's not just people that would intrude and steal your stuff. It's that they could come in and hurt you. I said, sir, I'm going to heaven when I die. Bring them on. The only thing I'm worried about is the snake. <laughs> and if you don't cover snakes, I'm not buying. Oh boy! <laughs> and he said, "Okay, yes, ma'am." I'm. <laughs> Where's the next line in the book for that one? I don't no. know. He said one of the things he says. Nobody's ever asked me about a snake before, and I was like, "Well, that's not what I'm worried about. <laughs> I don't care if anybody else is worried about it. I am. There's one in the dining room. <laughs> <laughs> Could you send the cops?" <laughs> So anyway, dad and I went to lunch. The snake came out. He was in the dining room when we got back from lunch and uh, he was curled around my wine bottles. So I don't know if he was an alcoholic or if I just have too many wine bottles, but um, they were empty. They're okay. Pinterest projects that are waiting on a you know, person to project them. So I oh, just nice. threw them away after that. <laughs> <laughs> They're housing snakes. They're bad luck. So anyway, we almost sold my house, which was the first house that I flipped. But uh Dad and my cousin ended up catching the snake, catch and release program, so no snakes were harmed. Um, I just got a gray hair, but that's okay. <laughs> um, but we are not selling my house. I did have a fun weekend, though. Uh, I went to the lake. I oh, am a yeah. lake. I'm not a beach bunny. I don't really care. I don't like the salt. I don't like the sand. I don't like the water and the sun. Okay, I just don't like the beach. But the lake, I love the lake. Get down to the pontoon? Oh, yes. Yes, we have a tritune, and I love floating around. We've we've got some of those lily pads too that you can just float on at the dock. Oh, yeah. It's uh, my mom bought a dock that's almost as big as our house. Like it's the biggest dock that's not a marina on Norris Lake. Okay, on Norris. There's a difference between Norris and Norris. Oh yeah. Did, did you did you know that? I, I didn't. My dad taught me the other day that Norris. Is down next to the dam. That's where the pretty water is. Okay. Norris is near the dam. And Norris is up where we are, up close to the river. But Norris is where all the Yankees go when they get a house on the lake. Oh, okay. So, and they can't pronounce it. That's why it's Norris (laughs) down there. That side of Loyston Sea is Norris, and our side is Norris. Okay. Didn't you go? Yeah, so I went up to the dam on Friday. They uh, they opened up the dam for the TVA tour of Norris Dams. That was pretty cool. Yeah, my husband Jason wanted to go do that, but I didn't tell him about it until it was over (laughs) because I didn't want to (laughs) go. Oh, it was fun. You should have gone. See the inner workings of the dam and the generator and all that. The whole damn thing just doesn't interest me. (laughs) (laughs) I'd rather talk about houses. There you go. (laughs) So I'm going back to the lake today. Like, can't wait to leave you so that I can go back to the lake today. Uh, Sorry. I hate that. You can come with me. Okay. Bring the wife and kids and everybody. Come Throw on me up. the tritune. Yes, for sure. So we're, I'm flipping my mom's lake house. And when I say flipping it, I mean that I cleaned it out <laughs> because <laughs> we've had it since 1997 and it looks like 1997 when you walk in. She's got brass doorknobs and brass light fixtures. And so I'm changing all those this weekend. I went to uh, the big box home improvement store on Monday so that it's in the car. It's ready to go. I'm flipping 
<laughs> the knobs and the accessories as soon as right. we get there. So just knobs and accessories, nothing else? I've already changed all the kitchen knobs. Okay. So I've updated it, and I took out five trash bags of stuff out of the kitchen because apparently since 1997, we haven't cleaned out the cabinets. Old tequila bottles and everything? <laughs> no kidding, yes. Uh, corroded batteries and I mean just stuff that you accumulate you need at the lake and you forget you have it so you go to Sam's and buy 20 more and then it just gets pushed on farther back so that's the plan this weekend all right we're hitting the lake we're going to Norris and I know that we were up at the lake last weekend and one of the things that we kept we kept talking to each other about is because we've got a gravel driveway up there and a gravel road into the lake house and our road needs new gravel so we were joking because my mom owns a dump truck company it's walker's truck contractors and we were joking that she needed to bring us some new gravel up there but then we remembered that she brought new gravel for the driveway and that's why i spun out trying to ah. leave the other day because we got that new fresh gravel but if you need gravel we can spread it and compact it and leave it in a big pile for you whatever call walker's truck contractors 865-933-0225 if you have a house for sale, call Whitney Buys Houses, 865-309-4500. This is Whitney Nicely with All Real Estate, All the Time.